What was fascinating to me is that, that that was a real person to me on those pages. That's just the, the things that a person wrote over the course of a lifetime. And as you'll hear this evening, some of them are, are formal writings and reports. Some of them are letters to political figures. Some of them are letters to friends. Some of them are just little informal memos. Uh, and sometimes it's really the things that don't seem official and don't seem formal that are the most interesting. Um, so reading those papers, um, really did give me a sense of who he was as a person. But as Scott suggested, it, it's been about 35 or 40 years that I've been studying Hamilton. And for most of that time, no one knew who he was. Like, no one had ever heard of Hamilton. And so when I first, in light of the play, began getting invited to give lectures in a variety of different places, I went on my computer and I thought, well, I have a lifetime of giving lectures about Alexander Hamilton. So surely I can just sort of begin to recycle some of these. And of course, all of them are premised on the idea that no one knows who he is and has ever heard of him before. They all start with, there's this guy. You've never heard of this guy before. But let me explain to you who he is, because he's significant in the early republic. We are in a different universe now, clearly. So that rather than wandering around all the time and telling people you need to hear about this guy, I spend a lot of time saying, He's not as great as you think he is. 